How to create GIF animations of your iPhone screen on Mac. What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's talk about GIF Brewery 3 for the Mac. This is a video to GIF Creator, the third version of the app just launched on the Mac App Store. And as you can see, it comes with tons of new features, new layout, etc. But what I'm gonna show you is how to create a animation directly from your iPhone screen. So we're gonna to go to file and then new video recording and then hit this little drop down button and select iPhone, just like you do when you record your screen with QuickTime. So once you select iPhone, and obviously your iPhone is connected to your Mac via the lightning to USB connector, you can click the record button and start recording footage directly from your iPhone. And once you're done, just click stop. And then that's automatically opened up within GIF Brewery's GIF editing layout here. So it's pretty much an end-to-end -end solution now. Um, you can record videos directly from your iPhone using GIF Brewery and obviously go in and edit those videos and export them as GIF animations. So you have your timeline here and you can scrub through like that and then you can set your in and out point for your animation. So here's the green end point. So I think we're going to start where the slide to unlock is just black like that and then we're going to make it so that it goes through one cycle of the slide to unlock so that it can loop. So we'll make this black as well. All right, so we have our clip duration, a little under two seconds. Now there's all sorts of options on this unified UI. Now it's just a single UI view. There's not modular components. I like this a lot better. You can also preview now, preview looping, which you could not do prior to this in the old version of GIF Brewery, so that's new. That's really cool, actually, so you can see what you're going to look like once you export your animation. And of course, you can scale. You can actually type in your exact width or height as well. So I'm going to resize there. And let's look at the loop again. Looking good. All right, and then you can click the little settings cog here and adjust your frame rate if you want to, your frame delay. Uh, you can adjust the colors used all sorts of goodies there. All right, so now I think we got all our settings looking good. We're gonna click the export button and this is gonna create our animation. Messing with the colors, painting by numbers. And there we go, so there's our animation. You can see the size, you can see it looks a little greeny, the colors aren't very good. This is a pretty complex background we're working with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bump up uh, the color count. So right here in the settings, you're gonna see color count. We can just bump that up. We can bump it all the way up to 256 colors. So we'll just keep it like that. Now that's gonna make it a pretty large file, but what we'll do is we'll crop using the crop button and we'll just crop out everything except for the slide to unlock portion, because that's really the focus of this animation. All right, so I think we have it cropped, just click crop. All right, and now we can go ahead and recreate our image, our GIF animation. And it will take a little while, but just be patient. There we go. So you can see cropping it definitely cut down on the file size a bit. Looks pretty good there. All right, so now we can either share it, that's new, or you can save directly to your desktop. So we're gonna give this a name and appropriately we're gonna call it slide to unlock. All right, so it should be on our desktop now and here it is ready to go and ready to upload. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you create GIF animations of your iPhone screen using GIF Brewery 3. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.